Welcome back to Seth Craft. In this video, I'm going to be putting the flooring down here in this 10 by 12 outbuilding. So if you're interested in that, continue watching. I'm going to be installing tongue and groove pine on this floor. And so the first thing we want to do is take our first measurement from one wall to the other. Now this is not going to be a floating floor. It's going to be put down with liquid nails and some uh, finishing nails. How much do you want me to back off? Let's see, so I am a quarter inch away from the wall here. Say two to the wall, 136. All right, so about uh, 135 and three quarter. Yeah. I'm gonna be using this liquid nails adhesive to hold these floorboards down. We're also gonna be putting a few nails in here just to make sure it stays in place while the adhesive is drying. So. I'm just gonna do a, uh, a modest bit of this, nothing too extreme. We're gonna simply take this board and place it on top of that adhesive. So on each side of the building, we've got about a quarter inch gap that the trim will be hiding. using a punch to push those nails in. We've made it to the door and we're going to just trim off a little bit of this so that it will butt up close to the threshold and that will allow us to have as little gap between the threshold and the floor as possible. Just using some scrap two by fours to get the piece clicked into the previous one. Using a drill to make some pre-drill holes. Using these finishing nails to get this attached. and then using a punch to make sure those go all the way in. In order to get the last board up close to the other boards, we are using a scrap piece against the wall to prevent any issues with poking through the sheetrock and a pry bar, just scooting this into position. True. Okay. <laughs> 
the last nail. The toe and groove had a few spots that knots were popping out. So we're gonna use some wood filler real quick to uh, just bridge those gaps. The last step here for the floor is to apply a clear top coat. We're gonna use this Minwax product here, and that's just going to be rollered on to every bit of the floor and then allowed to dry. Except for a couple more coats of polyurethane, the floor is finished. Let me show you around real quick. Now we have some uh, more projects coming up. As you can see, a mini split and some shelving units, but let me show you the floor here. So we did have to um, patch up right here a little bit to uh, just kind of take that knot away from being a sharp edge, but everything else is nice and smooth. Now we had to, uh, cut down or rip down this last piece here. And we did use a block against the wall to make sure that we could press that into place. And the trim will be covering up that little gap down in there. Quite a nice, easy and smooth install. Now we did have to also slightly cut around this uh, right here to make sure that it fits snug against our threshold. And that seems to have also worked out quite nice. So trim will come down here on the side of our wall and we'll cover up any of these gaps as well right here. As far as nail holes go, if you look really close, you can see some, like there's a line right in there, but it's quite subtle. I'm happy with this. Now, the little splotchiness will go away as the uh, second and third coat of polyurethane is put on there. Um, it should all look about like this board right here. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video on installing tongue and groove flooring here on this 10 by 12 outbuilding. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Channel. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next video. As I showed you, we've got plenty of other projects coming up here for this little building. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.